Potter. It's Dan the Pokemon here. <laughs> Hope, you're gonna, hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> I was lucky enough to spend the next six days sailing across the incredibly stunning waters of the Adriatic Sea in Croatia on an organized event called Yacht Week. In today's video, I'm taking you along with me as we island hop, boat hop, and have just a little bit of fun exploring the most breathtaking beauty the sea has to offer. I can't wait to show you what we did this week and of course, show you all the pests, bugs, and frogs we find along the way. We just finished eating the sea bass and now we're walking around split port area wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and it's beautiful we don't cut in <laughs> vlogs victoria what do you have to say it wasn't sea bass what was it then it was some other fish <laughs> you don't even know what it was but i know it wasn't sea bass okay it was some other fish it was whole it had a head on it and everything i didn't even know fish had heads on them did you not until today. Not until today. Uh, we're looking for our yacht. All of our other crew members went to go get groceries and we decided we didn't need to eat this week. So <laughs> they all left us and we don't know which boat it is, but I'm sure we can figure it out. It's called the Makawi and we're just gonna keep walking back and forth until we find it. The uh, skipper's on the boat right now, but we found it. Makawi, we found it. <laughs> they said we couldn't do it. They said we had to wait. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> We're all moved in onto the boat for the week. This is Samuel, our skipper. Say hey guys. hi. <laughs> Say hi. He's, got, he's the captain. He's not just the skipper. All right, it's first night. We're on the way to eat. This isn't the yacht. <laughs> it's the yacht that we paid for is still at the marina over there with all those other boats but we're going across the bay to have dinner and drinks and all we did tonight was just some housekeeping stuff we got unpacked we're, we're walking around the city of trogir and there's incredibly huge beautiful yachts boats whatever you want to call them they're ships they're insane uh this one for example it looks like a rendition of the titanic all right well i've got a lot to catch you guys up on i'm here with my new friend silver yeah Hello. Silver is from Estonia. I knew it was in Europe. I don't know if I could have pointed it out on a map. You can also show our flag. Like, yes, the like, Estonian flag. I didn't bring a flag for the United States. I'm sorry, everyone. But Silver brought an Estonian flag. That's the blue, black, and white one. And then that's the Croatian flag because we're in Croatia right now. How many of these boats are with us, you would think? One, around 20 boats. And there's some over here. Rhythm and waves. And then they have their country flags. See, those boats are single hulled, or one hull for the boats, but we're on a catamaran, which means there's this really cool area in between the boats. I'll show you guys underneath, but basically there's two main sections to the boat, and then there's a middle connector. There's bedrooms all down here, a bedroom there where that main door is, a bedroom here, and a bedroom here. And there's also a bedroom. There's three bedrooms on this side too. And you can step on this net, although it still seems a little weird for me to step on it. But I'm gonna show you guys around the boat. This is our first day. We did like an hour and a half. No, it was like a three hour drive yeah, this morning. Think, we left at 6 a.m. Yeah, we were sleeping. Yeah, 6 a.m. We came here around one hour ago. Yeah. We took a break to swim. Yeah, it was like five or six hours of sailing. And our skipper, slash captain Samuel was up bright and early to get the boat moving. So Silver and his friend Raido, Ra 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 yeah. <laughs> Ra they're from Estonia and Victoria and I are from the United States and then the there's four other girls, they're all from Australia. People from all over the world which is really cool. So we were on the front of the boat. This is the captain's seat. Hi. <laughs> He's been driving us around avoiding pirates and sharks and got us anchored here with all the other boats and we just finished lunch i'll show you guys a video of that but this is the uh what do you call this area this is the, the area southern cockpit cockpit saloon cockpit saloon it's got a dining table out here i'll show you the inside uh we got a stove still hot sink oven is there a dishwasher <laughs> Another dining area here. My room is down here. It gets a little crowded. So there's a bedroom that way. And then 
here's our bedroom for the week. Ha -ha. <laughs> We're doing the uh, boat tour right now. So this is our bedroom for the week. You can't miss the bathroom. That's that's where the magic the, happens. The master bathroom. <laughs> it's really something to behold. The shower drain is in the middle of the floor, which is pretty creative, in my opinion. Where's the shower? So, oh yeah, the, so the sink is the shower, right? And then the, the drain is down here. The toilet's right here. You have to manually pump to flush it. You press this button to drain. Drain what? To drain the shower, you press this button. Oh, I had no idea. How'd you know that? I got told. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> we got a, a actually fairly spacious cabinet for toiletries. And then our bed, which is not bad really. It's like a full sized bed, Sweet. I would I say. Can get in. Yeah. <laughs> we have some windows, which it's beautiful temperature outside. It's like 80s right now and, and low 70s, high 60s at night, but it does get quite stuffy in these bedrooms, especially with body heat and the bedrooms are just so small and last night there was no breeze our first night we were struggling to fall asleep we had this little little bitty fan right there <laughs> that was all the breeze we had last night and Victoria was hogging it so I was just suffering in the heat he voluntarily <laughs> suffered in the heat voluntarily yes I did it for love there's really not much space but it's perfect because we're not spending any time in here we're spending time in the most beautiful water I've ever seen in my life. You guys will see plenty of pictures of the water and I'll go ahead and clip some of them over this, but the water is absolutely gorgeous. The temperature is perfect. You can see all the way to the bottom. And now we're in a city called Bol, B-O-L. Not important, we're going to a few little cities this week, one each day. But we're just gonna go walk around and... Oh, I wanna show you guys this cool thing. This is a little uh, window into the, the area in between the two holes. So that's what I was talking about. It's a catamaran. The other hole is over there. And then I'm in this one here. But I just love looking down into the water. Like look how blue that water is. You can see little fish swimming around. More fish over there. Look at them. Here's all of our food storage for the week. Angela, our host, is doing a fantastic job making amazing meals and helping run the boat smoothly. We've got a mysterious, amazing smelling apple. Is that dessert? Yeah, it's an apple crumble. Oh, <laughs> apple crumble. So we will dig into that later. But All right, we've got to travel across four boats to get to shore. Very treacherous. You didn't see anything. <laughs> I was being silly about it being treacherous. And I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We're gonna see if there's any bugs around here. I'm gonna exterminate them all. Careful. Alright, two boats down, one to go. That was only three boats. Sorry, I lied. I'm not good at math. You guys wanna say hi to the vlog? This is Michaela and Emily. Hi, vlog. They're from Australia. Good day. Good day, mate. We're gonna see if there's any ants, any cockroaches, any spiders. No, we're not. We're gonna offer. I'm gonna give everyone my business card and see if we can drum up any services. We're looking for monthly pest control here. <laughs> we want to start a recurring service. I, I found some ants yesterday. I know there's flies around here. All of these restaurants right here. They need a monthly pest control service. Someone needs to be always checking, making sure the kitchen is kept clean, making sure the trash is being taken out. If you guys know anyone in Bol, Croatia, who needs a pest control service, please just let me know. Because I need to get this office going here. Do you guys hear that chirping bug noise in the background? Those are cicadas. And if you guys watch any of my videos, there's tons of cicadas in the Eastern United States right now. And I've been hearing these super loud ever since I got here. So I'm going to try to catch one of these cicadas and show you guys what species it is. I've seen a couple flying around and cicadas only come out a 
for a few weeks every year but they're not considered pests but i still want to catch one and show you guys actually i just found one on the tree they look super super similar to the cicadas in the u.s but it's not the same species the sound they make is extremely similar these bugs are huge i'm gonna try to grab it all right so hold on ready one two three all right yeah it's buzzing around in my hand all right Let's see if i can grab it all right i got the cicada uh they don't bite they actually don't even eat anything. These adult cicadas only survive a couple weeks every year. They live most of their life in the ground. Their only purpose in this stage of life is to mate. That's why they make so much noise. They're attracting mates. Once they find a mate, they lay their eggs in the ground and the larvae bury into the ground. It's been like five to seven years before they emerge. And according to my research, the cicada species is called cicada. Linnaeus, 1758. I'm not sure, maybe that's the year the species was named. But as you can see from this map, they completely saturate Europe and, and even that red area is almost where we are in southeastern Europe and Croatia area. But they've also been spotted across the world. Almost all insect species are extremely, extremely adaptable. And that's why I have a job because in the pest control industry, all of these bugs have no problem adapting to living inside people's houses inside people's businesses. We've been on maybe four or five islands in Croatia now, and we have heard and found these cicada species on every single island. I kind of enjoy hearing them because I know what they are. It's funny when we wake up in the morning, sometimes we will be parked at sea and then wake up next to an island. And when we hear the bugs, we realize that we're close to land or parked at a marina. You can probably hear them now in the background if you listen closely, but there's cicadas just making their mating calls 24 7 it's almost nostalgic for me to hear cicadas in the summertime because it means it's summertime in kentucky but i guess that's not a specific kentucky thing it's all across the world oh. <laughs> all right everybody it's day three out here we're hanging out uh with a bunch of other boats we're about to dock up with all of them and make a big party boat line is that what you would call it a tunnel raft so all these boats are going to be attached together except for that one that boats that boats on its own but all these ones with the purple flags are going to be attached together so we're just hanging out right now and i figured i would introduce you to everyone that's on the boat we've got victoria and silver can you guys introduce yourselves and tell me about your uh, favorite bug i'm victoria from the usa and my favorite bug is the woolly aphid because it's so magical and its wings are rainbow colored, iridescent, sparkly. It doesn't even look like it should exist. Yes, the woolly aphid is a classic. Silver, do you know what your favorite bug is? Uh, I think that my favorite one is cockroaches. Okay, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you like cockroaches. I mean, like ladybugs maybe. Ladybugs are nice. They're like cute, you know. They're they don't even bite you, I mean, like... All right, next we're going to introduce the Aussies. I'm here with Emma. Hi. Tell us uh, where you're from and your favorite bug or a, a pest control story. I'm from Australia, and my favorite bug would probably be the stomach bug. The stomach bug. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Michaela. Hello. Hello. Tell us where you're from and your favorite bug or pest control story. Um, I'm from Australia. My favorite bug is a ladybug as well, probably. Ladybug. But I can't Classic. say I'm a big fan of bugs. Well, sorry. <laughs> no, most people aren't. That's why I have a job. We've got Emily next. Hi, I'm from Australia. Australia, mate. Um, and my pest control story, I'm a property manager. So I deal with lots of properties and my least favorite would be the carpet bug. Is there a proper terminology for that? I know carpet beetles, those carpet are really beetle, common. Yeah. All right, Maya? <laughs> Maya. <laughs> Maya. Uh, um, I'm from Australia as well. Yes, um, My favorite bug would probably be an ant. Ant. Yeah. Those they're are good. They're strong and they eat lots. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> and they stick together. And <laughs> they, have a, they have a family. Yes. yes. Yep, they're probably my favorite. Colony. This is Rido. Rido, I'm doing a, a video where I want you to introduce yourself and tell us where you're from and uh, tell us about your favorite bug or, or <laughs> pest control story. So, my name is Rario, I'm from Estonia. I'm called Benham, I'm a drink a lot. I like rabbits, 
they have a lot of them in, in Finland where we live. Rabbits? Rabbits. Rabbits. They have a lot of rabbits. And okay. Like. It's pretty arid, like dry here. You know, we're surrounded by this beautiful ocean, but then if you look at the mountains and surrounding areas, you know, it's really rock. That's probably a big factor in the bug population. Boat tunnel is starting to form here. We're we're getting our place. So there's one, two, three, four, five. This is number six. And there's there's five on that side now. But they're all starting to line up here. Linking up here. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on yeah. before the <laughs> music gets too loud. They just moved this boat out of place behind me and brought in this DJ boat. And the DJ boat is about to start bumping some music for the whole row of Boats. The boat raft tunnel is finally complete. We've been out here for a few hours. The sun's setting and it's amazing. It's been a beautiful day. <laughs> the water is perfect. And <laughs> everyone is enjoying themselves and we are as well. Sun. Good morning. I, Say something funny. I just put a mask on. <laughs> what kind of mask? It's an oatmeal mask for soothing. For oatmeal? <gasps> it doesn't smell like oatmeal. You know, grain beetles eat oatmeal. Here's breakfast today. Everyone say hi to the vlog. Hello. Hi. Here's our spot for today. We it seems to be the routine. The captain wakes up before everyone and just drives us to the new spot. So here's our new spot. Right next to shore, another gorgeous day. Um, we're just kind of tucked away in this bay here. Gonna chill for a few hours, take a little swim break. Got another one of our friends' boats right there. Apparently they saw a shark this morning. No big deal. That's where sharks live, is the ocean. And then we found this wasp buzzing around our cabin, terrorizing everyone, so I had to take care of it. <laughs> Dang the boat today. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was game. Did you? That's a $100 charge right there. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to tell. Secretly, she wanted him as well. Skater boy. She says, see you later, boy. All right, we're going to do a swim cap tutorial. How to put on a swim cap. Yeah, I have mine on. I can do it all by myself. I can't. But Victoria can't. This is a swim cap. You put it on your head to keep your hair from going everywhere while you swim. So try to put it on by yourself first. She's got a couple days experience now. I have no experience. But I haven't showed her how to do it by herself. That's usually how it goes. What she's doing is almost right. That's perfect. Now when you're in the water, you don't have to worry about all the, the water getting in your nose and mouth. <laughs> Just a little piece at the front or back of the cap. Right against her forehead, and she's gonna pull it over. All right, ready? There you go. There's also another way to put this pump cap on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna stand above you. Just look forward. One, two. Hey! Well, the problem is now I'm not a great hair resident. That's the other fun way to put a swim cap on. Alright, Victoria wants to try it on me now, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, here we go. One, we'll do it whenever you're ready. All right. It works! But it's, uh, <laughs> what do we got here, Victoria? We have a sea urchin. Look at its mouth. Yeah, you can see its teeth sticking out there. It's five little claws. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. <laughs> oh, look at those teeth also. <laughs> so they use those teeth to pull off pieces of like plankton and seaweed that's stuck to the rock and they help like clean up the rocks. So it's gonna send a bunch of feet down to her hand to try to help get the sea urchin back into the water. It knows it's not in the water and it wants to go back. Flip it and see if it sticks now. Oh, see those feet right there? Look, it's pulling her skin. That's how strong they are. And there's a there's a shrimp helping me clean the, 
dead skin off my nasty feet. They're hard to catch because they have those big tails and they'll try to swim away. Ooh, ah! Did I get it? I don't know. Oh, it's over here. Oh, if you leave your hand there, I bet it'll swim over to it. You gotta be faster than the shrimp. <laughs> Chilling in the rocks right there. See that fish, guys? All right, there's another species of... Look at him. These are long-horned beetles, but they're absolutely everywhere. I think they're mating on this log. Actually, they're definitely mating. <laughs> so they're on top of each other right there. See, that's the male. See how long its antennas are? They're called long-horned. They're not actually horns. But the females underneath, those are just super long antennas that the male has. The females are a little smaller underneath. But there's two right there, and there's a ton just on this log everywhere. There's another one right here. Let's see if I can pick them up for you. Look at how big those antennas are. That's so crazy. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, guys, super cool. Really big bugs. They have them in the United States. But they're really cool. They're everywhere. Chilling on the boat today, and there's more pests even in the middle of the ocean. Doing its thing, licking up some of our mess. I don't know what kind of sugary substance that is. Probably <laughs> all that Nutella. As long as we're not close to the colony, then they're not very aggressive at all. They're just, they're just out here trying to eat like we are. Anatomically, the weight of the bumblebee versus the weight of the wings and the force they output is scientifically impossible. And so they're not supposed to be able to fly. So you don't believe in science? No, 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 it's, it's a real thing. There's something like they, they measure the weight of the bee and the strength. <laughs> he heard you making fun of how big it is, how small his wings are. One, action. All right, guys, I researched the cicada and longhorned beetle species that I found earlier on this trip. The longhorned beetle species named Saram Bix Cerdo. It's actually one of Europe's largest beetle species that's native to Europe. There's a lot of beetle species that are not native to Europe that are larger. This one is actually native, so that's great to see native bugs doing their thing. We're walking up this uh, hill, mountain you could say, towards this castle. We're, yeah, can't really see it, but I'll show you when we get to the top. We're in the city of Havar, which is an island. It's beautiful, of course and you can hear the cicadas there's cicadas here also one fun fact about this island of havar the whole island has a very strict dress code so there's it's an island surrounded by beaches and ocean but the dress code is that you cannot wear your swimsuits or anything revealing unless you're on the beach which is crazy so it's very hot we're sweating just walking up here but we actually have to wear I close, or else we'll get a fine of up to 600 euros. In cash, of course. In cash. Everywhere around here likes cash. No credit cards. Something fishy is happening around here, in my opinion. The cicadas, guys. That one's actually chirping right now. This is the view from the top of the castle. It's amazing. So, check it out. way over there in the distance there's obviously a bunch of islands even way in the background there's a, another island but our boat that we're staying on for the week is in that bay on that island there's not much on that island so that's why we're over here on this island with this bigger city to do stuff today what's up guys it's dan the bug man here and we're under the boat right now so there's two parts to the boat this side and this side and here's the little windows I was showing you guys. And you can look in and watch the humans move around and do their human thing. It's pretty cool in here. You can see the bottom. It's so clear. I don't see any bugs under here, but I've been looking for them. This seems like a prime spot for spiders to be hiding. <laughs> it's like our fourth day here and another beautiful day. Six. Six. <laughs> it's our sixth day here. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost track of time by now. Do you have anything to say? Well, we just did some dives. We're gonna do a big last day. Been doing it big every day, but today's gonna be even bigger. <laughs> today's not our last day. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, it is. It's our last full day. Oh, shit. <laughs> our last full day. This is Thursday. Then we have some stuff tomorrow, too. We're in the on the island of this. V-I-S. Oh, hey, guys. Hi. 
I'm doing some vlogging. Swim out. I'll show all my followers how strong I am. We're vlogging right now. <laughs> this is our last night. I wanted to show you something we found out about this yacht, this catamaran. It holds 10 people, and there's actually six bedrooms. Four of the bedrooms hold two people. That's eight. And there's two bedrooms that hold one person each. A one-person bedroom. And here's inside one of the one-person bedrooms. It's so, so tiny. It's right here. It literally just encompasses like this, where my feet are up to the end of that catamaran hole and it's so tiny guys that's all the space this person has it's it's so small it's called a coffin and i believe it as we are and that's a wrap for this week guys this last day was extremely windy and messed up our audio in this portion we're now sailing back to the port that we left from i hope you enjoyed this g-rated version of what actually happened on my yacht week there was tons of partying and loud music and dancing that i had to leave out we actually went to seven different islands over a six day period and it was one of the most amazing vacations that I had ever been on. We are about to fly back home to the good old US of A. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know in the comments and I will see you guys soon.